What if I told you that on a quiet evening in 2029, a massive asteroid will glide across our sky? So close you could spot it with the naked eye. And so close it'll pass beneath our communication satellites. It's not a scene from a disaster movie. It's real. And the asteroid has a name as ominous as its journey. Apophis. Named after the ancient Egyptian god of chaos and destruction. But here's the question. How close is too close? Stick with me because what astronomers discovered about Apophis could change everything we thought we knew about the safety of our planet and how fragile our place in the cosmos really is. June 2004 At the Kitt Peak National Observatory in Arizona, astronomers Roy Tucker, David Tholen, and Fabrizio Bernardi were conducting what they assumed would be another routine observation of the night sky. What they stumbled upon was anything but ordinary a 340-meter-wide asteroid silently hurtling through the void. Its trajectory? Alarming. Early calculations pointed to a potential impact with Earth in 2029. And if that happened, the consequences would be catastrophic. Now, before we continue, take a moment to subscribe to Curiosity Echo and tap the notification bell so you never miss our deep dives into the mysteries of the cosmos. If you're enjoying this journey, give this video a like to support more content like this. Back to Apophis. The name wasn't chosen lightly. In Egyptian mythology, Apophis, also known as Apep, was the embodiment of Chaos, a serpent demon that battled the sun god Ra each night in an eternal fight to plunge the world into darkness. Astronomers feared that, like its mythological counterpart, this spacefaring Apophis could bring real-world chaos. Initial models gave Apophis an almost 3% chance of slamming into Earth on April 13, 2029. That might sound like a small number, until you consider the scale. For astronomers, that was uncomfortably high. In fact, it was the highest risk level ever recorded for any asteroid. Headlines around the world screamed warnings. Was this the one? The asteroid that would finally strike? And if it did, what would happen? A 340-meter asteroid impacting Earth would release the energy of over a thousand megatons of TNT. That's tens to hundreds of times more powerful than the bombs dropped during World War II. It wouldn't wipe out all life, but it would devastate a region the size of a small country. Billions in damages, possibly millions of lives lost, and depending on where it hit, long-term climate effects. The tension only grew as researchers tracked the object. But as observations continued and orbit models improved, something surprising happened. The risk level dropped. So, had Earth dodged a bullet? Not exactly. By refining radar observations and combining them with optical data, scientists concluded that Apophis would pass Earth on that fateful April night in 2029, but miss us by a cosmic hair, about 20,000 miles. That might sound far, but that's actually closer than our geostationary satellites. In fact, Apophis will skim Earth from within the orbital ring of many of the systems that power our communications, GPS, and weather monitoring. Just imagine, an asteroid the size of a skyscraper silently cruising between us and our satellites. But here's the eerie part, you'll be able to see it. Yes, you, with your own eyes. If you're in the Southern Hemisphere, in parts of Australia, Africa, Western Asia, or Southern Europe, you'll be able to step outside, look up, and watch Apophis drift across the night sky like a bright moving star. It will shine with a magnitude of 3.1, comparable to the stars of the Little Dipper. You won't need a telescope, just clear skies and a sense of awe. Have you ever seen an asteroid with your naked eye before? Let us know in the comments where will you be watching Apophis from in 2029? But this isn't the end of the story. Because Earth's gravity won't just watch Apophis go by, it'll reach out and grab it. Not physically, of course, but, but gravitational forces during the flyby will slightly alter Apophis's orbit. This effect is powerful. So powerful, in fact, that it raised concerns about the future, especially a potential return in 2036 and again in 2068. At first, those years looked troubling. Would Apophis come back with a vengeance? Once again, astronomers sharpened their tools. 
and in March 2021 when Apophis made another close approach, this time at a safer distance, scientists seized the opportunity. They turned to one of the most powerful tools in space observation, planetary radar. Like a cosmic sonar, radar bounces radio waves off the asteroid, creating ultra-precise data on its position, velocity, shape, and spin. Combined with deep space telescopes and thermal imaging, this new data allowed researchers to recalculate Apophis's trajectory with unprecedented accuracy. The result? The 2036 risk was ruled out, so was the 2068 impact scenario. But there was a twist. It turns out the sun plays a trick on asteroids. Known as the Yarkovsky effect, this phenomenon occurs when sunlight heats one side of an asteroid more than the other. As the asteroid rotates, it emits heat into space unevenly. This tiny push, imagine the gentlest nudge, can alter an asteroid's orbit over time. For Apophis, the Yarkovsky effect causes a drift of roughly 170 meters per year. That may not sound like much, but across decades or centuries, it's enough to change everything. It's as if the asteroid is being ever so slightly steered by the sunlight itself. Because of this, Apophis's future remains complicated. NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies announced in 2021 that the 2068 impact scenario is officially off the table, and no known risks exist for at least the next 100 years. Apophis was removed from the Century Impact Risk Table, a list that tracks objects with a real chance of hitting Earth. So, can we finally breathe easy? Yes and no. While Apophis won't hit us, it reminds us just how little room for error there is in our cosmic neighborhood. The asteroid is large, but not a planet killer. Still, if it ever were to collide with Earth, the impact would dwarf events like Tunguska in 1908 or Meteor Crater in Arizona. The Tunguska explosion, for example, flattened 2,000 square kilometers of forest in Siberia. That was from an object less than a tenth the size of Apophis. If something like Apophis were headed toward Earth and we couldn't stop it, our only option would be evacuation. But where would you run from the sky? Becoming space refugees isn't science fiction anymore. It's a scenario planners have to consider. Global cooperation, early detection, and deflection technology could make all the difference. And this is where the real value of tracking Apophis lies. Each flyby is a training session, a drill for the day when we do face a real threat. So the next time someone tells you that space is empty and lifeless, remember this. The universe is full of rocks, some harmless, others potentially apocalyptic. Apophis might not be our doom, but its close approach is a cosmic wake-up call. April 13th, 2029 will mark a moment in history, not because of what happened, but because of what didn't. If you're as fascinated by these close calls as we are, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and ring the notification bell. You don't want to miss our next story, because in space, danger is never far away. Thanks for watching Curiosity Echo. Until next time, keep your eyes on the stars and your feet on the ground.